Let's let's do oh, there they go. <laughs> yeah, they're still sitting. Have I mentioned how much I love the new crafting system? Uh, this would have taken so long before. And I could speed this up now. I mean, right now I'm just kind of grabbing stuff. Uh, six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm just kind of grabbing stuff in little bits. Really, uh, ideally, I'd be grabbing stuff out of here in, uh, in larger quantities, but. Bye. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nope, I don't need that much, I just need eight. But anyway, uh, this is pretty cool. I'm out here at the Guardian Farm. Uh, VexFX and Barb Mix things are both on, so the farm's running a little slow. So I'm taking an opportunity to come out and bleed out the, uh, the item collection <laughs> system a little bit one downside to doing things the way I have here. It's not the fastest in the world. And when these things are going crazy, like when I'm the only one on the server, it, it just goes gangbusters and things are backed up. They're not, it's not backed up too bad. I mean, it's backed up to, I don't know, I've looked. It's backed up to, you know, about here maybe, but like all these hoppers are all full <laughs> because, right, and it's kind of bell curved like it's shaped. It's interesting because it's, Mostly it's in the center because it's kind of a pro uh, probability sort of thing, but they are backed up a little bit on the sides here, which is fine. So anyway, so that's the, I'm just picking up some sea lanterns and replacing some sea lanterns for the ones I picked up. Uh, I have a little, I have a little project. Let's go, uh, let's go do that. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> um, oh, we're short on minecarts. Interesting. Oh, I bet they're all up at the other end because slimes keep triggering the, uh, the pressure plate there. Interesting. All right. Anyway, welcome to Minecraft Land Party. This is Theron. And we're going to go somewhere else. Hi. Are you lost? Um, I think you might be. You want to go back over there? I mean, let's uh, let's see if we can arrange that because this is no place for donkeys. There we go. Huh? Hello, Gordy. Do you have any? Yeah, we got a few. Let's make some melons, huh? Did I mention how much I love the new crafting system? <laughs> Woo, we're done. Very nice. Very nice. Plop, plop. Very good. So, came over and checked out the uh, pirate ship that's in port here. And Vex said, hey, did you notice there was a treasure ch a treasure map? And no, I hadn't. Oh, look, they have windows back to the pirate, to the uh, captain's quarter. So let's go. I noticed, I saw the the treasure map. I just didn't look at it. If that makes any sense. So, oh, you stay out there. Where was that map? One thing I noticed, the diary, not even written. Very inexperienced crew. Bonafide treasure map. Let's take a look at that. And look, captain's logbook. Yeah, nothing. Ah, very disappointing. But, bonafide treasure map, look at that. We have, there's an X. X marks the spot. Let's see if I can get my, I can't get my cursor on it. But, top left corner there, there's a big X, marks the spot. So, we are here facing 
the ship, the rest of the ship, and the cove. And the sun's coming up, so let's go find that treasure map. A little spot over to the to the sort of south and west of it is Barb makes things uh, a squid farm. And off to the right, to the east, is Vex's castle. So let's uh let's go see what we can find. Yeah, let's go up here. So I'm gonna fly over there from the crow's nest and let's see what we can see if we can spot something on the ground. Man, I wanna push him off right now. But I think he's AFK. That'd be really mean. It's a weird spot to be AFK. All right, well, let's go. Let's go find our treasure here, and see what's what. Oh look, X. X marks the spot. Let's see what we got. Oh look, there's a treasure chest. What's in it? <gasps> treasure! Oh, and of course a flower. I have an idea. So Pirate's Rose and a chamber pot. So who am I to good pass up perfectly good emeralds, gold, and diamonds? I'm going to replace it with some fool's gold, some glass, and of course, a pirate's rose and a chamber pot. I think it's a perfectly good trade. And then we'll cover up our tracks so no one has to know that we were here. There we go. All right. Um, this wasn't all I was planning on doing today, so let's uh, let's get back. Uh, let's get back into the nether and go work on the other project that I had planned. So Barb made this uh, ink farm, squid farm out here in the desert, um, but it's not super productive because there's a little bit too much water around, which is kind of funny to say in the desert, but she needs, she needs dye, black dye for the concrete shop. And this isn't cutting so much. So I have an idea, something I've been wanting to try. So there's water right over there. There's water over there. It's just not not far enough away from all the other sources of water nearby to really spawn the, the squids the way we'd like. So I have an idea that I want to go try. Oh, there's, there's a few flowers here. Um... It's kind of hard to see all the pets amongst the flowers. I wonder who put these here. So I'm here inside the, the pyramid at Giza, and the beacon is like dead center. And the entryway is a little bit off. It's a little bit to the east of center on the south wall. Uh, and that's the way it is in the real world. And I'm thinking that out here would be a reasonable place for a squid farm because if we're here and minus 149 positive Z positive X. So if I go over this way, I bet we're going to get to. Yeah. So it's like a hundred blocks from the beacon out here. One forty nine hundred. Okay, let's go up top and take a look. I have a feeling there's not a lot of water out that way, so we could put the farm over in the corner there. The entry, the entrance there, it's going to come in. There's going to be a little tunnel, a little hallway. And then it's going to like ramp down and it's going to stay off center. 
and it, there's going to be a chamber below ground level below sea level here uh, somewhere over here not exactly sure where it's going to be yet and then it's going to there's going to be a another tunnel that branches off of that that goes up and there's going to be another the main chamber the main burial chamber is going to be up top but that's i mean that's what i have planned for this i will probably build additional space rooms inside here but if i come off over to the side especially if i do this and build it a couple chunks away like over here this would probably be a reasonable place for other stuff like a squid farm so let's go up top and take a peek from the top of the pyramid so as we already established from the very top up here, I can't see much of anything, but if this is the south wall here, if I come down over here to the point where we can actually see some of the surrounding desert, um, I don't think there's a whole lot of water. And if there is, we'll get rid of it. Oh, there's some water over there. Interesting. How far is that water? There we go. Goodness, that was less than graceful. So we can, down here, and let's see where is this, what is this Z17? So maybe, I may have to like fill in this water, I may have to get rid of all this, this little water river thingy here. But, I don't know, we'll find out, we'll figure it out. The little bay on the other side of the pyramid over there, I want to keep that. And to me, that's like the River Nile. Not that the, the Plateau of Giza is that close to the Nile, but... And I have to do a lot of terraforming here. Okay. We may have to uh, do some of that there, but we'll, uh, we'll make it work. Oh, you know what? This corner is probably better. So the big bay slash river is over there. Entrance there, so the south wall. And that corner is where I was looking. There's that little river going along over there. But this corner here is far enough removed, I think. I don't see any water out that way. So let's, uh, let's find a chunk to do this in. That makes sense. I want it to be out of the way of the chambers but far enough away from that stuff, but close enough to this stuff to make sense. How about we do this this chunk here? I don't know, let's try it. This is an experiment in any event, so let's, uh, let's, let's, let's try something here. Okay, so that's why I needed sea lanterns. Because I'm gonna light this thing up. So I'm gonna dig a big hole here probably gonna have to go swap picks a couple times this is not in range of the beacon and I'm not sure that I want to dig a temporary hole in the pyramid in order to move the beacon over here or set up a different one so I may just put up with it being a little bit on the slow side uh, we don't have to dig down that far but as I said it's gonna be a little experiment so let me dig a little bit of this out and then we'll set something up and then see how it goes. Huh. Well, I've gotten myself into a bit of a pickle here. I'm digging down my little hole. There's a big old cavern down here that I was before now unaware of. What do we do? Uh, this might be a little dangerous. Oh, it's like a ravine. It's a tiny little thing. We got lava. We got water. I have to take care of that water. There's lava. Oh, it's a, just the end of a ravine. Okay, well, I need to make sure this is all lit up. Oops. All lit up properly. And take my way back up and build a platform. <laughs> 
But I'm getting plenty of building materials from digging this hole, so that will be just fine. That's where we came down. So we will go up here. And I'll take the iron ore. And let's see, what's up here? We have little ledges. That's a weird looking little spot right there. Uh, let's let's figure out what's going on up there. Just a weird bit of generation. And I'm out of torches. That's actually no good. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Well, let me figure this out and we will go take care of a few things. Let me go get some more torches and we need to light up the rest of this ravine. I'll be back. Oof. Heights, oh, crush. Um, what the heck happened there? Why did my dogs just all teleport to me? Okay. What's going on here? Um. Whoa, shoot. Crap. You can die now, Mr. Skeleton. Oh. I'm sorry, who's hurt? You're hurt a bit. Okay, this is weird. All these dogs just teleported me and they're all sitting. That was weird. A little disconcerting. Let me go light up some more here. Just in case there's some more skeletons laying around. Let me pick up these bones. Oh, shoot! Oh, you better eat, then. Eat. Eat. Oh, goodness. Um, okay, there's some beasties here. It's a little bit, it's a little bit dangerous. And the dogs keep coming to my help. Which is weird because they were sitting a long ways away. Huh. Well, let me, I'm going to clear out the rest of this ravine, hopefully without getting some of my dogs killed. And uh, light up the ledges. Yeah, that's, that's no good, actually. So, okay. Uh, sorry, that was, that was really weird. And uh, not at all intentional. So, apparently... Uh, sitting dogs, if you pour water, if water pushes them, they will teleport rather than be pushed. And so if XFX was in my place cleaning up the uh, poppy explosion that he laid down, I uh, said it was 22 stacks of poppies. And uh, he was using water to clean it up, which which uh, not super awesome, but uh, pushed the dogs and they all teleported to me. So we've got seven dogs here and at least a couple of them. You, Wilbur, you're, you're not doing so well, are you? Let me uh, give you some, some Scooby treats here, some Scooby stacks. All right, you're the one, you're hurt. Oh man, do I have any zombie flesh? I don't have any zombie flesh. Oh, that's lame. And I don't have anything the dogs can eat. 
Okay, so I have to figure out how to get these guys all home. Uh, because they teleported thousands of blocks. So I'm thinking if I pillar my way back up, where's my exit? Hi guys. Having them down here is not super great. Here's my exit. And of course, I put torches here to mark it and they're gonna be getting my way. There we go. So I'm gonna pillar my way up and I hope that when I get up to the top, all the dogs teleport up to meet me and that none of them do anything dumb like, oh, I don't know, fall down the hole into the ravine. So let's see what we can do here. Oh, sh oh no. Come on, all of you teleport over here. Okay, roll call. One, two, three. Okay, I think you're all here. Hey, Wilbur, sit. You are in bad shape. Actually, Sir Pupsalot, you're in bad shape. Oh, you're all in bad shape. Meow. Oops. And you sit. Oh. Oh, and you sit. I don't even have a names for all of them yet. Oh, that's awful. Four, five, six, seven. Okay. And, of course, some of them fell right down the hole when... Ugh. Uh, do I have some meat here? Please tell me I have some meat. I have some Ron Flash. Okay, well, let me clean up a little bit here because this is a bit obnoxious. And uh, put away some some stuff. Let's smelt up this iron. And yeah. Okay, so I got some work to do here. Let me Let me take care of it and help get these guys all back home. And then we'll come back and continue on the work. It's just a little too dangerous having them all here if they're just going to teleport to me if another skeleton decides he's going to shoot me. Hello. Hey, hey there. Can you hear me? Yeah. Can you, you hear me? Yeah, loud and clear. I got a 3D print going next to me, so hopefully it's not too loud. Just flew over from the uh, community area. Oh, look at all these dogs. Where where are you? Oh, there you are. Yeah. So okay. <laughs> so I was down. I was down in. Um... <laughs> Hang on a second. That is ridiculous. Uh yeah. So I was down. I'm 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 building a a little test squid farm over here. Ow. And. Oh, cool. Um. I just started and I'm digging my way down on this corner here and it goes straight down into a giant ravine Ooh. and so so of course I'm down there and then suddenly these skeletons start shooting me which would be fine I can deal with it but then suddenly I'm hearing this little <laughs> and I'm like what the hell was that <laughs> And then Not suddenly everywhere. they're dogs all over the place <laughs> and they came in like two waves because I gather you didn't hit them all with the water all at once. Yeah, no, I hit the first batch and I'm like, what the hell happened? And I looked and I saw dogs on the other side. I'm like, oh, did they teleport over there? Because I didn't know how many you had. So I poured water next to them to see what happened and they vanished. I'm like, oh, okay, nope. I just apparently <laughs> sent a bunch of dogs off to who knows where. Yeah. So what really happened is uh, the water probably puts them from sitting mode into standing mode. Uh-huh. It says they were then standing and realizing they're standing and you're not nearby, decided to teleport to you. And, well, I guess... Yeah. Interesting, I guess it means because both chunks were loaded. Your chunk was loaded. My chunk was loaded. Normally, they wouldn't teleport that far. No, it was like 1,600 blocks. Yeah, but in this case, since both chunks were loaded, they just skipped everything in the middle and went right to you. So I'm, I'm guessing... And if I were to put water next to these guys right now, it would just take them out of sitting mode. Yeah, so here's here's what I want to try. Um, so there's seven dogs over here. Snoopy's, just, oh. Snoopy's <laughs> hiding behind the chest over here. Um, so what I want to do is I want to go back to my place. Why why two pigmen just spawn from the... Oh. Yeah, Hello! I can, I can, I can, Hello! Hello! Goodness Hi, Barb. gracious. Hi. Hi. 
<laughs> so yeah. You go back to your place, I'll pour water. And uh, you'll lose oh, some torches, we can put them back. Yeah, that that's fine. Um, the torches are in a pattern, but you know, whatever. Um, let me run back to my place. And let's see if we can make this work in reverse. Oh no, it should it should totally work in reverse. I'm pretty sure. Well, no I was just take them out of sitting mode. I was being attacked by a skeleton at the time. Well, good thing they came to defend you. Maybe they were just upset. Yeah, well, maybe, and that that could well be. But the thing is that if if it doesn't make them teleport just by pouring the water on them, I may have to come back and bring them back the hard way. It just I'm I'm pretty sure it will because my my theory is just that it's it's just them going out of sitting mode to standing mode and when they're in standing mode they're going to want to be near you right but there is there is supposed to be a, a a distance that they're able to teleport yeah but i'm guessing that that distance probably only relates to the fact of like chunks that are loaded and whatnot versus like since both chunks were loaded because you were in one and I was in the other, they, they were probably able to get past it. Well, let's... Six dogs here. Let's find out. So... Let me know when you're ready. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm climbing the ladder. I'll be there in a minute. <coughs> you you okay there? Hmm? You oh, yeah. Got a little... I'm, uh... I don't know. Allergies or whatever. Oh. Today. I've been sniffling and sneezing all day. Oh, sorry. What you gonna do? <sighs> okay, so climbing back up into my now flower free. Oh man, and now everyone's like all lined up in a row in the middle of the room. Yeah, uh, I pushed them out of the way so I could still use water because <laughs> I didn't want to send a bunch of parrots and cats your way too. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I am. I am now in a reasonable place. Let's let's. Oh, there they go. <laughs> yeah, they're still sitting. Yeah. One, two, three, six, and that's all of them. Yeah. Nice. Uh, I, I built a little, um, I built a wall around it, so they were all contained. And... Yeah, we only we only had to destroy one torch, and it's now bad. Awesome. Thank you. Well, that was a little interesting oh, bit of uh, Minecraft science. Yeah, the, the things you learn from random pranks so yeah exactly <laughs> and of course they all came through and they were wet so they all had to shake off it was kind of cute <laughs> oh that's that's hilarious i didn't know they did that yeah yeah they, they, they play a little sound effect that's yeah they really so i guess now we know that if you ever need to transport dogs a super long distance <laughs> yeah that's actually a really really awesome way to do it yeah mm. wow <laughs> Okay. Bless you. Oh, your cat teleport over there to you too. Bless you. I don't want to test the cats right now. I want to kill the zombie pig man. Uh, there's two of them. Be careful. Yeah, I don't know where the other one went. I don't. Know I, they, yeah, I don't. Know, the, the other guy. You see him? Yep. There goes mine. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Even, yeah. Even even two of them should be manageable. So. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. No All right. Okay. There well. On the outside, by the way, I flew over, so I saw the outside. Yeah, the only the only piece missing is the slab for the very top, but it blocks the beacon, so Yeah. So I I, I took that back off, but I don't know video. All right. You came through a teleport uh, right as I left. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're still There you go. Yeah. I saw you pop in as, as the animation was fading out for me. <laughs> yep, I had a little lag spike, so you were still standing on the portal. Cool, well, thank you for the uh, the assistance. Yeah, I'm glad they weren't somewhere safe, because honestly, I had no idea where they went initially. They just vanished. 
So that uh, that would be an interesting test to do. Like if I'm not, if I weren't actually on, mm. what where would they go? They yeah, might just. I think if you weren't on, chances are they would probably just be there, and maybe standing. Yeah, or they would just teleport out of the way of the water. Yeah, I imagine they wouldn't teleport. They'd probably just get pushed. Huh. I mean, we test that fairly easily if you walk off for two seconds and I, I flooded one of them. What happens? What happens to wilds? Um, to, to oh, it'd be the same as any regular mob in that case. The teleporting dynamic is only because they're you know owned by someone. Yeah. yeah. Right. So then. I would imagine that it would be on the similar. Huh. Huh. And that, dang, now I forgot what level I wanted to dig down to. <laughs> Bedrock. No. Sure no. Uh -huh. I think it's like 41, but okay, I'll, I'll figure it out. <laughs> All right. Well, I think I'm going to. I, I, fortunately, I was recording all that, so oh, nice. it'll make. Were the... you recording when when they appeared? Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, yeah. So that great. that'll make it into next week's video. Excellent. Suddenly, dogs appear. Yep. <laughs> so that's hilarious. That's good. <sighs> well, now we have another prank we can play on each other. We sitting there out in the middle of nowhere. Suddenly, there's forty parrots and six cats and twelve dogs. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, as long as you're not in a dangerous spot. Yeah, yeah well, no, that would that would have been terrible if if one of them had, you know, gone off a cliff into lava or any other of the hundreds of ways ways they could have died. Well, when I was getting them out of the ravine, I pillared up, and they didn't wait until I was at the very top before they started to teleport. Oh, no. And so a couple of them fell down uh, fell down the hole. And when they teleported back up to me, they were in pretty bad shape. And I didn't have any because I, you know, they won't eat the golden carrots. Yeah. So, fortunately, I had some zombie flesh in, in a chest, so... Hmm. Yes, the good news is they're not they're not unique <laughs> and as long as you have two you can recreate them and, re and rename back them yeah oh yeah it just it would be a uh -huh. the ones that i've named i've become attached to <laughs> they have the same nbt tags they're all the same dog in spirit yeah that's like when the kid's dog dies and then you tell them well we'll get you another one <laughs> Not that was my first thought. Is maybe maybe they teleported to a farm upstate. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's why I have horse too. <laughs> yeah. Is your backup? <laughs> well, actually, horse. The one that is currently called horse is technically horse three. <laughs> uh oh. It's like snowball. Snowball two. Snowball. Yeah, when I was a kid, I had a cat named Rambo, and uh, he died of leukemia. So then I had a cat named Rambo too. Not Ooh. first blood. Yeah, and I have no idea what <laughs> I have no idea what happened to Rambo too. I think uh, I think he ran away. Or at least I believe that was the story my parents told me at the time. 